Hello, Kindred Resistors against the dysgenesis of modernity that is governed here. And I am starting to lose energy. I am packing for a big trip I'm taking. Thus, I am getting some tea ready to give me that last little punch to get through this. I am headed to Europe. And I am going to be there for three to four months. If you hadn't noticed from various little slips of me mentioning it here and there online, I can't even remember if I've said it in a video yet, but probably. That is where I'm headed. Actually, England first, then Austria, and then back to England, and a little tour of the UK, and possibly going back over to mainland uh, Europe. I don't know. really depends where the wind takes me. I have a one-way ticket, and I'm excited, but I'm also tired because I still have tons of shit to do because I have to get this apartment looking pretty good for it to be used by other people while I'm gone. I don't think I've ever given a apartment tour actually I'll just briefly do a little of this you can see all my clothes it's really messy right now obviously but I'm also testing a new microphone I got it's not gonna be as good as my microphone over there on my desk the one you see in the videos that's like 200 200 plus dollar microphone this little one on the side of the camera and it also it came with a clip on mic which also sounds great but yes, the sound is decent. It's better than, you know, this one I used for ages. Obviously, you guys probably never saw it, but this was on my camera for ages. Like a $45 mic, really cheap. And I got so many complaints for that, it took so long to change it over. Uh, but this one, I think it's a GoPro one, or it works with a GoPro camera, so it, it's decent for this. So yeah, with a bit of post-edit sound cha level changes, uh, it sounds pretty good, and I hope you guys are satisfied with it. Three or four months from now, I'll be back and be using that one again. But until then, that'll have to do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So, uh, we're going to also be vlogging on a trip a little bit. Like, seeing me get on the plane. Not that that's very exciting, but maybe I'll do this in the airport and get some people staring at me. And, uh, yeah, you can see what I'm up to. I'll do some other vlogs as well. But I'll also do some formal videos and continue with informative videos, especially on this channel. You're obviously going to want to see that. And I got to get back to packing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on my way to the airport, probably. Airports are a little weirder than I remember them being. Everyone is on iPads that are attached to a table. But maybe it's just this airline? I had three seats to myself, but someone's been moved to the side of the house. There's going to be a seat.
Well, good morning. I had my first sleep here in England, in Southampton, staying with my cousin. And I might look a little bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I just had uh, 12 hours of sleep because... Like I said, I was pretty tired. I was already underslept and getting ready to go away. Plus, I didn't sleep on the plane. So I just had like, I pushed it and I think I fell asleep at 7 or a little after 7 here. And then I was up at basically 7 the next day today. And today, not too much on the plate. Just going to go see the beach. But yeah, when I landed, there wasn't too much to share. Just picking up my bags, seeing my cousin, trying to get through the day. But I was so tired, I thought there wasn't probably much I could even explain or say I was just really out of it by that point and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to this next week I'll get little bits and clips here and there and we'll do some vlogs and things but I'm going to continue doing regular videos too on various topics so I hope you can check those out it's not an English breakfast unless it has black pudding or blood pudding wait, wait for the HP so <laughs> Last time I was in England, or, or the time before the last, when I was two or whatever, yeah. I have a very significant memory of being bitten by a sheep. And then my parents laughed about it and took a picture. There's a picture of me crying right beside a sheep that I stuck my hand through the fence. It might have just licked me or something. I don't know. No, it didn't bite it off. No, I know. I'm sure if it like gnawed on it a bunch, it probably doesn't have much of an instinct to though. So we're on the beach in Southampton, or near Southampton, not actually in Southampton. We're actually in between Southampton and Portsmouth. That is the Isle of Wight out there. I've been informed. <laughs> and then way out there is the open ocean. And eventually you'd hit Brittany and France if you carried on that way. It's quite nice. The temperature's are not cold at all. The water is maybe 8, 9 degrees. The air is like 13. And uh, a very nice area. It's almost like, it reminds me of Vancouver on the west side of Canada in terms of being so mild in the winter. But uh, the houses look different, obviously. Very old, classic looking places. Someone's practicing parasailing over there. It's hard to see, but that is a glider up there. There's the guy doing the hand sailing thing. I guess he's practicing for doing it on the ocean, but it's not super windy today. So thanks for watching, and uh, keep spreading logic and alt-right virtues among the dildotariat.